In the previous episode, we defeated Scarabus, and in this episode, there's a giant thunderstorm. We're gonna go underground. <laughs> I feel like that's just the best way to handle this. We need to look for the Goblin Tinkerer. That's like my number one goal today. So that's uh, the primary thing I'm gonna try to get done, potentially. So actually, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and start looking around now for it. Oh, he's, he's literally right there. <laughs> That's amazing, the timing. I had looked down at my desk because I was moving my phone out of the way. I look back up and I see him. Beautiful. Uh, cool, so now that he lives here, <laughs> let's get an instant house built real quick. So we're gonna go instant. Nope. Wait, what am I missing? Is it wood? What would I be missing? It is wood, okay. Easily fixed. All right, we're gonna just grab some of this, pop it in there grab ourselves a house uh do i want to go you know what i'm gonna go put this in the the uh the desert real quick mm, you know what now that i think about it i may as well grab three let's just get it done with let's just get three instant houses over there i feel like though and and maybe if you've been watching for a while on the channel you you get the same feeling that i do which is i feel like that i've gotten lazy <laughs> with the instant houses. They're just so convenient to plop down and be like, cool, I'm done with it. Now we can have a dude move in and then that's that, right? But, big butt here. I, I feel like it has taken the joy of doing really cool builds away from me. Ever since I've started using Fargo's mutant mod, I have essentially stopped. Oh, you know what? We could turn this off, right? Yeah, sands of time, baby. Uh, yeah, we have essentially stopped doing like super cool builds. I do eventually do them in the series, but I just don't prioritize them anymore, which is a bit of a shame, honestly. I felt like, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I really liked doing the builds in the past. I don't have the time really anymore to be doing that. Um, I, I do have to kind of prioritize how I end up handling those but at the same time yeah it's a shame I felt like it was really fun before and now I don't necessarily get to do that is this gonna work I feel like it should just because there's platforms up there there we go okay um, and we need one more house so we're gonna plop it oh would that work oh yeah look at that <laughs> fancy uh, we have people to actually live over here, don't we? We've got him. I don't want the Goblin Tinkerer living over here. It just makes it easier if he isn't. Who else is it that likes the... Isn't this the arms dealer? I could put the demolitionist over here. Temporarily. Uh, I don't want you living there. Goodness. I want you living over here somewhere. Crap. I need to get rid of one of these guys. Is this technically a house? What do you mean it's missing a wall? Oh, is it this thing here? Is that why this is not technically a house? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> it might be. Sometimes it's weird like that, right? We'll see. Also, it's this, actually. It's because I have this. I, I'm almost guaranteeing it. Yeah, that it's because of that. Damn it. <laughs> All right, who do I want to have move out here? The guide. Get out of here, guide. Get in here, buddy. You're now living over here. Cool. Uh, is it nighttime yet? I guess they have moved in. Maybe actually I could just go buy the um, pylon real quick and put that down. That would be really nice. Okay, so while I'm doing this, the last couple days, have been a lot of painting for me. If you're new to the channel, welcome, glad you're here. I run my own business, I do 3D printing and I do commission painting for miniatures. And um, that's like my main source of income outside of YouTube. And I finished up a really cool commission. I told you guys the other day, I finished it up and wanted to show you all. Yeah, desert pylon, baby. It's gonna work there? It does, oh, that's nifty. So I finished up painting Magnus the Red, which is a very large figure. The sucker is like 170 bucks too, um, on the if you get it like MSRP from Games Workshop. 
He's intended for 40k. So Warhammer 40k for the uh, Thousand Sons army. He's a very big, big dude. So I finished him up. I'm gonna show you a picture of him here. He was, he was a lot of fun to do. He was, he was good. I, I like to kind of not show off my work, just be like, hey, this is what I work on during my day stuff. Um, because it's always fun to kind of share and talk about. Because I talk about my life fairly frequently. Um, so it's, it's nice to kind of share that. It was a lot of fun. I haven't dropped it off yet. The guy doesn't have a big enough case to take it. So we're, he's waiting for one to be mailed to him. And then, and then, yeah, I'm going to be going and, and dropping that off. Because we meet it at our game stores. The way it's like, it's just, it's just less awkward. I think what I'm going to do real quick is get rid of this cleft horn. Because I'm not using it and potentially use the rocket boots. Although I might be able to make specter boots. Yeah, because I have the Hermes. So... Oh no, do I not have that? I have the sailfish boots, which should work still. Yeah, there we go. Spectre boots. Is it? Oh my goodness. Did we finally just get our first blood moon? I think we might have. Yeah, baby. Oh, what is that? There's someone out there. A chest zombie. Did it have a chest? Oh, what did it have? Oh my goodness, what the heck was that? Oh, it's the occultist. Oh, hey, buddy. We've been waiting for you. <laughs> Crap, I am getting beat down over here. It's like all sorts of enemies I'm not used to seeing. Okay. Do I sit on oh, no. I got rid of that, didn't I? Alright, where is he? Crap, I put that in the wrong spot. Oh my goodness, that occultist is insane. I need to fight him not in my house. <laughs> that really screwed me over there. What is this guy? Skeleton brute? Oh, you know what? I actually might hold on. We might be able to do this all funny like. Send my orb to kill him. Yeah, this is the way to do it. Oh crap, that big dog's coming this way. Yeah, we got him dead. What the heck is this thing? A flesh hound? Oh my goodness. Look at a mana though. Give me those mana stars. I'm about to get an occultist dead. I'll just use the nurse to heal. As overpowered as that is. But hey, you know what? Whatever works. I also had a bunch of stars over here, so I'm utilizing that. Ooh to try and uh, keep my mana up during this. Did we get it? Yeah, there's the occultist. Dead. Cool. We got a Ouija board. What the heck are those things? A wisp? Oh, it's got like an essence? Okay. It's odd. Sure. Whatever that is. Pick that up. Oh my goodness, I didn't want to go back, but you know what? Actually, that's probably for the best. I could go pick up that other stuff, but I, I do need to heal. And I've been picking up so much gold. Um, also got, man, I got so many things to, to mention about this <laughs> blood moon, but I think what I'm going to do real quick. Oh, there's another occultist. Do I try to take it out? I kind of feel like I do. Yeah. Come on. He's so close to being dead. There we go. <laughs> I almost died fighting him. Let's, let's break these with the sword because I ain't got no mana left. I don't know what the Ouija board is for. I assume it's for something occultist. Um, or occultish, occultish. <laughs> Sorry if I offended all you cultists out there. I'm gonna go down underground because I, I feel like I need to sort everything out. I've just gotten so much stuff here. So we're gonna we're gonna head down for a little bit. So I had picked up a quest, and that quest. Oh, I keep forgetting to do my um my son. And that quest was unholy undertaking. So I had picked up something. Was in the walls. Oh, maybe it was the wall scroll. Yeah, the mysterious scroll. So I had picked that up from fighting, I think it was just zombies. Um, so it says, talk to the guide about the mysterious scroll or talk to the dryad about the scroll. So it says, I found an, an odd wall scroll listing important information about zombies and potentially their origins. I think I should talk to the guide or dryad about this. Maybe we could put a stop to this vile necromancy. Uh, we got a punching bag or we will get a punching bag. Um, an herb bag, old leather, some coins, and then did I pick up another new quest there? No. Who are these other ones? Uh, nothing, nothing that I need right now. All right. So what else did we get? We got a Ouija board. Someone's a tiny occultist. That's cute. We'll keep it. Mostly because I don't have another pet. There's no reason not to. Um, we got an intense sacrificial dagger summoned. Okay, 
Your summons will target fo uh, will target focus enemies. Summons that hit tagged enemies may deal extra strikes of damage. Ooh. Heck yeah. Oh wait, is this like a? Oh, it's like a whip. But it uses mana. Oh, that's really interesting. Okay, cool. And we have another one. That's not. It doesn't have the the mana roll on. All right, we can try that out for a little bit. Um, we also got Dream Stride Essence. This was from the Occultist. What does this make? Um, it makes a shield. Increases life reg or it reduces life regen to zero, but increases max HP by 40. It's pretty cool. Demon Sheath summons a possessed katana that floats above you, points towards the nearest enemy. That's really cool. Cloak of Healing. Minions have a small chance to return life. I think I should make that. <laughs> it's a really good. Blood Quartz Vestments. Oh, is this like I could be like a vampire? Oh, oh, this is so cool. Oh, I don't have enough. No, 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 no. I need more. Tome of a Thousand Fangs. Some of the set of gnashing teeth inflicts surging anguish, slowly depleting enemy life. Ooh, there is a head splitter melee damage. Uh, heart strike ranged bow successful hits grant charges which can uh, be fire which can fired using right click which can be fired using right click i think is what it's supposed to say fired oh no wrong uh, fire charges inflict sanguine or surging I, I said sanguine anguish the first time right you know what i did but it sounds way better than surging anguish because this is like all like vampire-y um what's this Two-faced mask, summon damage. Summons either a soul of happiness or sadness. If the cursor position with a left or right click, soul of happiness shoots out beams. Uh, shoots out beams at foes. Soul of sadness shoots out homing tears at foes. A curse breaker hard mode item. Ooh. I don't know. Okay, so I have 15. I have 15. I want to make the Tome of a Thousand Fangs. So that's eight. So that leaves us with uh, six left. Or seven left, sorry. I was thinking six because of the... I just looked at the visage. I don't know. I kind of feel like... Oops. I don't, I don't want to keep accidentally closing things. I feel like... Uh, oh, I don't have the mime. Oh, maybe I do have a mime mask. Oh, maybe I don't. Hmm. Can I make one? Probably not. So I, I, don't, I can't even make the summon. But I could also make the cloak of healing. I actually think that might be pretty good. Like, I, I feel like I got accessory slots to mess around with, right? Maybe, maybe look around because maybe I didn't pick up some of the souls. Maybe the souls are left over, you know, just some leftover souls laying around or something, something like that. All right, so we killed now officially the occultist. I kind of feel like right now we have gotten some really cool summoner stuff. And I'm really tempted to try and go get the mime mask. Yeah, I don't have one. They are underground. Mm, okay, for, first things first. We gotta talk to the dryad, wherever the heck she is. She's over in the frost biome. We can, we can handle that. So let's, oh, I don't know, I'm clicking on the relic. Shut up, don't make fun of me. All right, hello. Quest. Okay, we have unlocked a quest. Sanctuary Luminous Luster. As protectors of nature, we dryads have an obligation to protect all flora and fauna. To look out for the little guy, as you may put it. This applies especially to those creatures that cannot defend themselves. A prime example is the brilliant Lumoth. It shines in the darkness of caves. Uh, ooh, a traveling merchant. Uh, bring it to me so we can preserve the species for future generations. Right, cool. So we definitely did that. I think I still need to talk to her. Oh no, it wants me unholy under undertaking. Retrieve five vile powders, okay. Okay, so let's, all right, let's, let's, let's get this quest. <laughs> what is it called? Luminous Luster. All right, this can give us notes on Lumots, which we already have, whatever. It's fine. I mean, we're going to get some shine potions. All the, every potion I collect 
is going to my bank of 30 potions. Once I get, if you don't know what, what Fargo's Mutant Mod does, it's a little convenience thing. Once you get 30 of a potion, it gives you just a permanent buff of that potion, as long as you have it in your inventory or your bank. So as long as you just kind of have one, it's, it's real nice. Oh, we got occultist relics for that too. Man, this place is a mess. I gotta clean this up when I've got time. <laughs> it's very bad. Okay, the Ouija board's cool. I think we could sell it though, because we have two of them. So let's shop, let's get rid of that. I'm gonna keep the necklace just in case. Uh, I've got a zombie banner here. So I still have the wall scroll. Jack the Abomination. Which one is the Abomination? Ah, oh, okay, so that might be the mutant mod uh, uh, dude that allows you to change to do uh, change events and turn them off, which is really convenient, honestly. I kind of feel like I need to go talk to the guide because I still have this quest item. Dude, no, he don't. Okay, uh, do I have a quest for this? Probably not. Oh, I, I had a quest for this. Oh, that sucks. I had a quest for this, the, the occultist. I even looked going into the blood moon and I would have gotten eight more. Mm, that really sucks. Oh, that really, really sucks. All right, it's fine. It's fine. Sell this other dagger uh, and let's go back. Anyways, I feel like the game is like giving us quite a lot of summoning stuff. So part of me really just wants to use more summoning stuff. Wow, that's a big freaking map. This this mod is giving me a lot of stuff for, for decoration. Uh, I also may as well sell this while I'm at it. Boom, that one. Okay, so I have 63 gold. That's not too bad. We're doing really good on gold. So let's go ahead and put the Dream Stride Essence in there. Uh, and let's make, man, I do want to make that two-faced mask. Let's make the Tome of a Thousand Fangs. Even though I feel like my weapons are great, and I almost really want to just go down and find a mime and try to farm out mimes. I don't know. I'm like, I'm very tempted. This doesn't have any, oh no, this says increase your maximum revenue. It's okay. I kind of want to do another Blood Moon when it gets dark and just make all this stuff because it's freaking great. Hmm. All right, let's, can I make a cloak of healing? Uh, what am I missing? I am missing the potion. Can I make a healing potion? No, because I don't have any bottles. So you know what I need? I need bottles. Do, do, do. I need glass. <laughs> it's, it's very reductive, as you could tell. Uh, I'm actually just going to make the max that I can of glass. We will make uh, bottles, right? Yeah, so we'll make the max that we can of bottles. And I need one of these and some water. What's our closest water? Underground figures. So we can get our alchemy station. Or rather, so we can make potions. Can I, can I do this heal? Actually, what, do you have to be in the water? No, you don't. Okay, good. I don't know why I thought it was picking. Look, I've recently played Minecraft. That's it. That's the problem. I'm going to I'm going to attribute it to that. Okay, now we can make put, What am I missing? Do I Oh, I just need normal healing potions in there. You know what? I should probably just kind of drop a few in there and just kind of uh still not doing it. Got the bottle. Oh, you just need a bottle. Don't make fun of me. Don't make... It's, I, I get confused because you need both, right? You need water bottles to make potions. But I don't, I don't need that right now. What I need is that there. There we go. Healing potion. Then we can do cloak. Uh, by putting it on that. Cloak of healing. Boom. Oops, armor. That's not bad. Cool. I'm going to go get uh, more bottles. You know, I think I could. Yeah, I could get 30 iron skin potions and then bam, immediately get our iron skin buff. That's that's great. <laughs> that's great. Look, 
Iron skin. Boom. Do I, I, can I make more stuff? <laughs> should, I should have been doing this long before, right? I should have been. What do we got? Regen? Oh, I'm not going to be able to make 30 regen potions. Swiftness? Uh, I'm not going to be able to make enough, but it's good to know that we're pretty close. All right, cool. Yeah, I, I, I think so waiting to get it nighttime. I'm going to go underground and we're going to go look for some mimes. So I found a few extra crystals. I haven't found any mimes yet. Um, I'm going to dump all that in there. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead and make that book um, just to try it out. So we'll craft that. Ooh, it's adept. Ooh, 17 or minus 17 percent uh, mana. That's pretty nice. What exactly is it going to do? Oh, OK, I see. It's like a delayed bite. Got it. Got it. Got it. I feel like I need to do another blood. Boot. So let's let's search for the what is that called? Tear? Yeah, bloody tear. Let's try it. Let's let's try it out. Um, I'll put that there. Does this go through walls? You know what? It does. Oh, I see. So it it like slowly drains. That's an interesting ability. Is it good? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, there's more of those. Do I just get those now? Or is there an occultist somewhere? Honestly, I don't know. I'm out of mana too. That's a, that's a bad combo. My, eh. Man, that little dagger is pretty awesome. There we go. We completed that quest. Good, 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 good. Uh, can I launch that out? Get a bunch more of those. I gave us 10. We're getting like another eight from the quest. Would that be enough? Um, I'd have to go underground and do some math real quick, but it might be. Because I think uh, uh, if I want everything, actually, I'm not sure if it is. Let's let's turn this quest in real quick. We're at 11 currently. We're at 11. Oh, we can get another one right here. I've noticed that they're just kind of spawning, so you just got to look out for them. So they do make it kind of easy, at least after you've killed a cultist, I think. O, o cultist, not a cultist, by the way. I meant to say a cultist, right? Which sounds a lot like a cultist. <laughs> um, let's see here. What do, what do we get? So we have 20. How much How much did we need? So if we're going to make, say, the armor, uh, we need, we, well, goodness. I don't know how much I have in my stash. So like if I also wanted to make other things, I think, you know what? I think we just double down and we just go kill another cultist, a cultist. All right, that should definitely be enough. I hope. I hope that's enough. I, uh, what do we got now? 28. Yeah, that's going to be enough. Okay, cool. So let's pick up the rest of this stuff. And I'm going to attempt to end the Blood Moon. Um, this is the thing is actually, for one, I am not even sure I can use my teleports while the event is going. But it's always worth checking, right? Oh, is there another cultist? You know what? Let's do it, baby. Okay, let's see here. Cancel event. Boom. Ah! <laughs> There's an occultist. <laughs> I don't I'm not entirely sure where he came from. <laughs> I guess I guess he might have spawned as I was teleporting away. Oh, and that's a freaking goblin army. No. No 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 no. No 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 no. We're not doing this game. We're not we're not. Get get out of here. Did it cancel it? Cancel event. Not feeling now. Come back in 97 seconds. Damn it. <laughs> Uh, what is this? Flex blood corruption. It's a cool yo-yo. Gotta love cool yo-yos. All right, you know what? Do I want to wait here? Cause I, he might just like die. How, how much longer do I have to wait? Seventy-eight seconds. Goodness. Yay! The invaders have left. Get out of here, nerds. I got other things to do. <laughs> right. Okay. So let's um. First off, let's go through our stuff. Let's shop. Let's get rid of rid of all this random stuff that I don't need, right? Uh, seeds, relics. I'm not going to use that cool yo-yo. Get rid of the dagger. And, oh, by the way, I got a money trough, which is freaking fantastic. It's not as good as Chester, but you know what? <laughs> It'll do. So, let's see here. Let's go to... Crap, I don't even remember the name of the armor. 
blood quartz. Oh, that's gonna be great. Okay, here we go. Craft. Uh, we'll craft this one. And we'll craft this one. Alright, so let's see here. We're, we're currently at 25 defense. Not that defense super matters. I mean, I guess in master mode it does. Uh, which is what we're playing at. Oh, that looks freaking awesome. <laughs> that is so cool. Double tap down to sacrifice 8% of your maximum life to launch a bolt of dark anima, dealing high damage in a radius. This bolt siphons 10 additional health over 5 seconds. Let's cool down on that. Your blood needs time to heal. It's like 20 seconds. Oh, we look so cool. We look so cool. If, on one hand, it's like, it uh, kind of sucks that we we just got our, our chitin armor. But on the other hand, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's pretty cool. We got like this cool vampire armor. We, you know, haven't even killed the Eater of Worlds yet. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, we still got to do the Moon Jelly Wizard and the Jelly Deluge. I haven't done that yet. I haven't even found a Haunted Tome. But Eater of Worlds is probably our next goal. Maybe get a little bit more health. Uh, let's quickly take a look at the rest of the stuff that I need to make. I need to go get a mask, the uh, the mime mask, which yeah drops from mimes, as you might expect. And that might be it. Yeah, I think that's that's our our new goal is to go underground, kill a mime, get a mask, look out for the jelly deluge. If that's not happening, that's fine. We need to kill the eater of worlds. <laughs> 